how do you go about researching a guy from Iran that you want on that squad? Yeah, I think it begins and ends with Hamed Haddadi. I know that he's the most expensive player at $8,800, but he's worth every penny. He's 7'2". He's very experienced at 36 years old. He, he looks like you'd find him in a pickup gym. He's just this old man who just continues to get rebounds and buckets down low. But what I mentioned earlier about the big men, I think, rings true. I think that you see you know, some shooting variants here with Iran. I mean, I don't think they're going to, you know, some of these guards are not going to hit the same level of shots that they did against the Czech Republic against some like, you know, legitimately good defenders and Chris Middleton and, you know, Damian Lillard guys that are athletic can hang with guys. I don't see the guards really having a big role in this game, but I do think Hadadi is going to be a guy that, you know, is going to be out there. He, he put up 39 fantasy points against the Czech Republic in just 29 minutes. I think he'll get plenty of rebounds with some size issues with the the United States. And I do think that ultimately the offense runs through him. He's the best player on the floor for the Iran, no question about it. And he plays on the Sichuan blue whales in the CBA. Uh, He's definitely the most accomplished player on this team. I'm going to go with him. Nick, which way are you going? And I I was up all night, you know, researching the backstories on all these Iranian players. Um, No, I, I, I don't think I went as deep as Kenny did. I, I did not research their CBA teams, uh, but Haddad is the easy call. I, I think, especially if you're a more casual basketball fan and, and you really don't have the time to dig into to what a lot of these guys are doing, you know, with their international club teams. Uh, like Kenny said, he had a 15, 10 double, double with four assists, two steals and a block against the Czech Republic earlier this week. It's a name that NBA fans should be familiar with played five seasons in the league, most prominently with the Memphis Grizzlies. My one concern about Hadadi, though, is, is potential for foul trouble. You know, keep in mind that uh, it's five fouls and you're out in FIBA. And, you know, I, I think Team USA, you know, has, has been kind of victimized in some ways. Uh, at least at least maybe they would say that in terms of how these games have been refereed relative to what they're used to. I think at some point they need to kind of turn the tables and try to use that to their advantage. So I would not be surprised if they tried to attack Hadadi early in this game. You know, get him three fouls in the first half, force Iran. Uh, to kind of be careful with him. So that's kind of the downside uh, with the Dottie. You know, the other player that I, you know, if, if you kind of look at the box score from that Czech Republic game, um, you know, that's that's really what most fans have to work off of here. Uh, Jak Chalita Kordi, 23 points, four assists in game one, took a ton of shots in that game, had the highest usage rate of any player on the team. Um, so if you don't have time to go super deep on that research, that's another direction I would lean for Team Iran. 